Hola, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Daniela. I'm so glad you could join me today for a flip through of my mega happy planner, Miss Andromeda. I am so excited to share with you what I've been up to in my mega happy planner. So if you're excited as I am to check out my happy planner spreads, all of the spreads that I've done this week and uh, have planned for the upcoming week, just keep on watching. So I have Miss Andromeda um, all safe kept in my leopard zip folio with my little rabbit puff on the, on the zipper and I could not be happier with the setup I have so far. So I still have her with the colorful leopard cover and the metallic blue discs. I don't think this combination is going to go away anytime soon because for me it is such a summer vibe and I love summer and I'm not ready to let go of it. So I probably won't switch out of this setup until we're well into fall. <laughs> I like fall. I do like the season. I actually really, really do like fall, but I am a summer lover. And then probably after summer, spring or maybe fall um, are my favorite seasons. So spring and fall are tied for my second favorite. But summer is where my heart is. So we're gonna be just flipping through my mega happy planner. I call her my mega happy planner because she is thick and she has eight different planners combined into her um, so she's technically franken planned and she just you know organizes my life keeps me in line and i'm so so grateful and happy for my happy planner so i still have her with the colorful leopard mickey mouse page um, not much different for the calendar uh pages here or my folder uh, or my sticky note dashboard. This is all pretty much still the same from my last flip through. So if you're interested um, in checking out any of those flip throughs, they're all on my channel. Something new that I did do this week was I did this little spread here using some filler paper from the Disney Oasis line. And I just kind of wanted to organize my thoughts concerning my Happy Planner setup because I really do have a solar system when it comes to my Happy Planner setup. I have 15 planners and various accessories and I really, really love planning and organizing and decorating and keeping up with all of my planner sections. So it kind of, uh, it helps me to have this overall like big picture perspective of my Happy Planner solar system. And especially as we approach the end of the year and a couple of my planners are going to end at the end of the year, it's about, um, it's about time I start thinking ahead and deciding what I want my Happy Planner solar system set up to look like in the coming year, which we only have a couple months left in the year, which is so scary and shocking. Whew. Anyway, so I did this little spread where I just kind of um, mapped out the current planners that I'm using, what I'm using them for, what are their layouts, and what I expect to evolve that planner into for the coming year. So some of my planners I am discontinuing, I'm not continuing with them, some of them I'm merging into other planners, some I'm just changing the layout uh, of the planner that I've decided to use and some I'm keeping exactly the same. I mean, I'm changing into a new planner, but it's going to be the same size, the same format, etc. And so I just kind of had uh, a couple of thoughts about what I wanted to do with my planner setup and I kind of mapped it out in this spread here and I really liked how it turned out. So I did that. As always, I have my bedtime routine and my sleep logs, so that hasn't changed. I don't know if this is different from my last flip through, but I added some um, sticker pages to the back of the scrapbook paper, kind of separating my first planner section here. And this was the spread for this week. I went with a yellow theme and I just write affirmations in this little skinny mini planner. It's like a moment in the morning where I just really uh, dedicate myself to, uh, 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 you know, like 30 seconds of, of, of pure positivity and um, confidence building and empowerment. And so I went with a little yellow theme here and then this is the upcoming week. I also went with like a yellow 
uh, pastel theme. I used stickers from Farmhouse and Dream Seeker sticker books from the Happy Planner. It's kind of a boho floral theme with this like muted pastel color story. I like how it turned out and um, I'm excited to continue writing my affirmations every morning. And then I just use this little back page here to kind of journal at the end of each month. And then I have more stickers. These are more like daily productivity stickers. I have some daily agenda sheets. I did this sheet um, on Monday and sometimes I, I throw away the hourly schedules, my daily sheets at the end of the day because I don't necessarily need them. But sometimes I kind of like how I set them up and I just leave them in here just to like appreciate. So. That's what's going on here. And then I have just blank daily agenda sheets, some from the Happy Planner, some that I made myself. This is another version of a daily agenda I made myself. Um, so we have that there. And then just a folder with some sketchbook paper in it and some stickers. My sticky note dashboard for my fitness section. And this is new. I moved my fitness section up to be my first um, my first classic sized planner in this planner setup because I felt like I have been uh, kind of slacking with my fitness so I have stickers here and I just haven't really been working out and uh, that is so upsetting to me because I am someone who really likes to work out and after my vacation, I feel like it just took me a long time to get adjusted back into work and regular home life. And I just did not have the energy or motivation to work out. But I'm hoping that that changes <laughs> starting today. I'm gonna work out for the first time today. I mean, I have been working out in that I have gone on hikes. I have, you know, been walking at least 10,000 steps. Usually every single day I walk my dog. So walking is definitely always something that happens. But for me, that isn't really a workout. <laughs> That's just like baseline activity that I should be doing every single day. I'm talking like actual strenuous workouts, even if they're short, like 15 to 20 minutes. I try to do those every single day and I just haven't been doing those. Really, honestly, I haven't really been doing those um, this whole month because I was on vacation for two weeks, basically, and then I just have been adjusting back from vacation. So this monthly overview is where I see, I keep track of um, if I work out, you know, on a monthly basis and all of these stamps uh, stand for a workout and honestly all of these stamps are just walks. I mean I guess I did run and hike at some point um, but these are pretty much all walks. So my fitness uh, pages here and so this is the current week and this is the upcoming week and let's see we're gonna and then now we're moving into my current events planner so this is a planner where i just kind of journal about current events that are happening i listen to the news quite a bit and it helps me to journal about what i listen to so it kind of like sticks in my head i retain the information a little bit more so this is this week um, i went with a floral theme and then this is the upcoming week i just picked a bunch of random stickers from various sticker books so that is this week and then we have my spirituality and faith section. So I have my Aztec calendar there. And then I have some stickers on the back of some scrapbook paper. And let's see, the August monthly. Okay, where are we? Here we go. This is the current week here. And then this is the upcoming week. I like to use celestial type of stickers in this planner because my faith uh, has a lot to do with astrology and things like that so I think it gives it such a good vibe. I've also been loving brush lettering some scripture into this grid section here at the bottom of the dashboard. Um, it's been definitely getting me back into a bible study and um, connecting with the Lord. 
And then here I just have some functional stickers, um, more functional stickers on the back of it. And then this is my academic section. Okay, slight camera and lighting change because the sun came out. It was super cloudy um, before when I was filming the first half of this. And actually when it's really cloudy, it's perfect for filming because the light just diffuses through the clouds and it's not like super washed out. But anyways, the sun came out and so it kind of washed out my picture and so I had to do a quick location change. But anyways, we're back on track. We're on my academic section here and one new addition that I made to my academic cover page was this adorable Mickey Mouse sticker. So I'm a graduate student at UC San Diego and recently they just came out with these Mickey Mouse stickers uh, for our university and I thought it was so, so cute. So I ended up uh, putting that down here. I think it is adorable. And it goes really well with this section because I'm using a uh, Mickey Mouse vertical format. So let's go to so let's get to the current week here. This is my filled out spread for this week. I thought it was really cute. I used the Disney Mickey Mouse Oasis collection. And then this is the upcoming week. Again, still using the Disney Mickey Mouse Oasis collection because I honestly cannot get enough of that collection. And I also added some cute cactus stickers from the Happy Illustration sticker book. Um, this one right here actually really like how it turned out. I usually tend to leave my academic spreads a little bit more open because I tend to write in them a lot more and I need the space. So I went ahead and left this spread pretty open and I can't wait to fill it in. So I'm gonna pop this bookmark back in here. And my next section is gonna be my community service work. I use a vertical planner for this section. And let's get to the current week here. So this was the current week and I had a lot of fun doing this little political cartoon slogan moment. I am an illustrator and content creator for some of the community service work that I do. And so I like putting in sketch paper and like taping it in, into my planner and then sketching in my planner because that way it's just right there i have the canvas i have the setup and it really motivates me to just like fill in uh, my planner so i've been really loving having these little like doodle sketch moments in my planner i did a couple last week and then the week before that that's why you see a lot of these drawings and doodles in this section And then this is the upcoming week here. I use the Colorful Leopard sticker book. And as you can see here, I laid out my canvas. So I'm ready to do my weekly doodle here. And then my next section is gonna be my household section. So I have scrapbook paper separating that section and then my August overview, my August monthly. And I'm just gonna skip right to the current week. So this is the current week. Um, I actually didn't do too much in this planner this week. I was just really busy, didn't get a lot of time to kind of work in my house and, you know, do household related things. So it feels kind of empty, but um, yeah, this is it all filled out. And then this is the upcoming week here. I'm actually still working on this spread. I started it, um, I actually started filming a plan with me for this section, but then the weather just was not cooperating. So I stopped and I still need to go ahead and fill this uh, spread out. I started with these florals from this Fun Florals sticker book that I just got and I'm excited to continue uh, the spread here. And then lastly, we have my budget section, which I won't flip through, but there we go. That is um, the entire flip through of my beautiful Andromeda, my mega happy planner, which has so many planner sections in her. I hope you enjoyed checking that out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!